Angela here from myonlinetip.com. I thought I'd quickly show you how to create a link for your iTunes podcast. If you go into Link Maker, which is here, you can create one very quickly. iTunes.apple.com forward slash link maker forward slash. Okay, you go into there and you'll land on this page. Now I'm going to create one first for blogger interviews, my blogger interview podcast. So I'll put in here blogger interviews. I don't know why that's suddenly stopped. Interviews, there we go. Now it's not in the USA, but I'll leave it like that just to show you the difference. It's I'm, I'm in Australia, so I've listed it from there, but it still will come up. But you do need to select that it's a podcast. You don't need to select anything there. I mean, that's up to you if you want to refine your search. If you do that, okay, here they all come. And if you notice, mine's down here. Now, mine is the only one with the name Blogger Interview in the domain. So I'm surprised that these come up behind in front of mine. I would imagine it's because I've put here USA and I'm actually in Australia. So I'll change that to Australia and show you the difference of the results. Okay, so I've listed it in Australia. Oh, it defaults back to music. You've got to make sure you select podcasts. And there you go. It comes up right at the top, Blogger Interview Podcast by Kate Luella. So you simply click here at the end where it says Podcast Link. This is the link right here. This is for text. This is for a large button, and that's how it looks. And this is for a small button, and that's how it looks. This is text link, so that's if you, that's how it will look. If you copy and paste it, it will actually just write that. And when people click on it, it will go to the actual site. Here's the actual direct link if you actually want just the text link without the button. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I want to, well, we'll put in the big button because it's nice and easy to see. So you click on that twice and then you say Control C. Or if you're on a Mac, you would do Command C. You're just copying it, basically. And we'll, we'll, first of all, we'll put it into the WordPress blog. I've created one here, which I haven't really used much, so that's fine, thechildparent.com. So we'll go to the dashboard of thechildparent.com, and we're trying to get a button right here in the side in our widgets. So you go in down to Appearance, and you're trying to get to Widgets. There it is. You just click on that Widget button, which comes under Appearance. There it is, Widgets. And basically over here, if you can see here, it says the first one is Search. I'll just get that one back up. the child parent there we go so if you can see there the top one says search alright so what I want to do is I want to put it straight under search you should probably put it on top it doesn't matter now to put in a widget here of this type you would simply want text see arbitrary text or HTML HTML that's what it is it's HTML code that's what it is so this is defaulted down here it doesn't matter control V or command V if you are on a Mac and that is paste we are purely pasting it. Don't put a title. We don't want a title. And you say save. Do not tick add uh, paragraphs. To let, you know, reduce that. You should be able to reduce that by hit. There we go. And I'm going to put it back up here. So I want it right under search. Okay. Now that's it. Once you put it there in a WordPress um, template in the back end, it will automatically update your front page. You don't have to select save. So widgets are in, you know you know straight away. And there it is. Okay. That's how it was. Search and then that. So now if I click on that, it will go straight into this iTunes page, which says, hey, do you want to subscribe to that? Then there, here it is. Now, as you may or may not realize, when you say um, view it in iTunes, it, this is not iTunes. This is Apple. So when you do that, it will then say, well, then do you want to open iTunes? You probably can't see that. There you go. Do you want to open iTunes to, to watch it? So in this case, I'll say no. So this is the web. This isn't the program iTunes, but that's the only link you can get. Okay, let's say, for instance, you want to put it into your uh, Blogspot blog. Okay, so this is my Blogspot blog back, back end. Uh, I'll just show you the blog. Here's the blog. The surrogate parent. I'll get my other, there you go, I've already put it in. So let's say I want to get the just the text. All right, this time I just want just the text. So I'm going to say text only. I'm going to do that same thing, Control c or Command-C if you were putting it into uh, uh, on a Mac. And go into the back end. So here's the surrogate parent. We want to go into the back end of the surrogate parent. So this is back end of Blogspot Blogs. And you simply want to go to your layout. When you click 
layout. It's a bit slow, but it will come up and it will say, here's all the things you can do. You're looking for these add gadget, add gadget, add gadget. Why don't we put one right here? I have no idea how that will look, but let's do it. So I've hit add gadget. Now it's going to say, which gadget do you want to add? And I'm going to select HTML JavaScript. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. You just click on that plus, which I did. Again, it's a bit slow. No title, control V or command V if you're on a Mac. Save. And that's it. Okay, there it is. So I need to save that arrangement. It's just called it HTML. But if I gave it a title, it would show up the title as well I'm, I'm above the button. I don't want that. Okay, so it should be saved now. Let's try that now. And there it is. There you go. I don't want bloggers interview podcasts here on my surrogate parent trauma. But that's right. That's all I'm showing you how to do it. Obviously, you'd put it down the right bar. If you wanted to put it down the right, you put it down here. If you want it down the side, it's just that HTML button. And that's it. You've got it in. Okay. That's, I'm Kate Luella from myonlinetip.com. Thank you. Bye.